you are going to, you know, you can see that yellow sign coming up there. What is the yellow sign telling you? The yellow sign tells me the right lane is going to end. end. Correct. So you're going to have to change lanes to the left lane. So the sooner okay. we do it, the better. Yes. Because, you know, that will be, you know, in, in case we should get used to doing things ahead of time. Never wait until the last second to do anything because that's how trouble starts. Yes, because right. at last second there could be traffic. Exactly, yes. yes, yeah. It'll be a lot less efficient if you wait for the last second. Um, okay. You always uh, should be looking ahead and planning ahead when you drive. So I see this street is also a one-way street. It's going to the right side. That is correct, yes. So another question for you. So when I'm on a red light, do I still have to keep both hands on the steering or can I No, you can you can rest, you can relax your hands. Okay. You can relax your hands. Uh, as long as the car is not moving, you don't have to keep gripping the steering wheel. You know, you can take one hand off if you want. Yes. You know. Um, yeah, you, you you can do that. Yes. Okay. And now the speed limit is 60 kilometers maximum. Maximum, that is yes. correct. Under ideal driving conditions. Yes. And the conditions are ideal right now. So 55 would be a perfect speed. That way there's always room for error, right? I mean, you know, doing 55, five below the speed limit in this case, what's gonna happen is if you get distracted for a second, something happened in front of you, um, you know, you may push the gas a little bit too much, then, you know, you have five kilometers to play with. Yes. Right? And you're not going to go over the speed limit. Yeah, these are very, uh, very good tips. Now I see a crosswalk coming up. Yes. You don't have to reduce the speed here. Yeah. Just look left and right. Check for pedestrians. Um, if you see a pedestrian standing in the corner waiting to cross, then you would have to stop and yield to the pedestrian. And I noticed there was another sign indicating when the lights are flashing, drive at 30 kilometers. That is correct. Yes, this is in Edmonton. I haven't seen it anywhere else okay. uh, in any other city. But yes, in Edmonton, whenever the uh, pedestrian traffic lights are flashing yellow, all vehicles have to slow down to 30 kilometers an hour. And if there's pedestrians in the crosswalk, uh, they would have to stop. Yes. Now, even if there's no pedestrians and the lights are flashing, they would have to slow down to 30 kilometers an hour and maintain the 30 until the lights are off or they pass the flashing yellow lights. Okay, sounds good. And these are for the pedestrian crossing lights. Yes, this yeah. other, the, so it doesn't this, apply here. It doesn't apply to other yes. yellow flashing lights because there's a few different um, signs that have flashing yellow lights, right? Yes. And on the right hand side, uh, this diamond shaped sign is a warning sign that yes, crosswalk is coming up. That is correct. Now, any sign in yellow is a warning sign. Anything in black and white is a regulation sign. Oh, okay. Okay, we're going to take the. Um, we're just going to keep going straight for now. Okay. Yes. Because it's sort of a. This construction here going on. So it's yes. a little bit confusing, right? So, yes. construction should be slowing down to 50 kilometers an hour. Yes. Um, unless otherwise posted. Mm -hmm. And uh, of course, we need to be a little more alert for workers on the road. Um, you know, material, you know, and construction material, you know, pylons and things like that. Okay. Another crosswalk. I don't see anyone here. That's correct. Okay. Slow down more. So now I so see the, yeah, we got the sign. yield signs here. So slow we're gonna down, reduce check traffic. Yeah, ready to yield, but nobody to yield too. So we're gonna continue. Okay. So if there's yeah. no traffic, then I don't need to stop. You don't need to yield. Okay. Yes. See, that's the thing. Uh, yield sign. Um, people sometimes are confused about yield signs, right? The meaning of a yield sign is to give the right away to the other traffic. Um, yes. So that means yield. You know, the, the giving the right away to other traffic, that means that, that's what the word yield means, right? Yes. You're yielding the right away. Yielding doesn't mean to slow down or anything like that. You don't, you know, when you need to, you know, when you approach a yield side, you need to slow down. But the word yield doesn't mean to slow down, it means to give the right away to other traffic.
Okay. But how do you prepare? By slowing down, right? Yes. Yes. And See that's the difference between a stop sign and a U turn. Exactly. Stop yes. sign, you always stop. Doesn't always matter stop. if there is a traffic or always no traffic. Always stop. Yes, that is correct. A lot of construction going on here? Yes. Well, you know, I mean, uh, summer season, you know, uh, that's the only time they can really work and on the And here roads. I have to do a proper lane change? That is correct, yes. yes. So anytime you move from one space of the road to another space, let's call them a spaces instead of lanes, because basically that's what it is, right? Uh, because what defines a lane of traffic is the space that you have to drive in. It's not the lines painted on the road. So yes. whether you have lines painted or not, you still have lanes of traffic. So sometimes I call them as spaces. So people, you know, it makes more sense to people than lanes. So anyway, so anytime you move from one space of the road to another space, it's a lane change. Yes, so more than right. three feet. That's like, right. Okay. Uh, well, no, it doesn't really matter. So if you move, yeah, okay, let's say more than three feet. Okay, okay. maybe, you know, that's, you know. But you need to think that if you move into that space, you know, if you can drive in that space that you're moving into, then somebody else can also drive in that space. So, yes. So that's the reason why you have to check and you have to signal, indicate, you know. Yeah, so there could the be things. another car, yeah, exactly. motorcycle. Yeah. So 50 about kilometers like 50 an hour. Kilometers, yes. yes. Now, one thing about 50 kilometers an hour is the basic speed limit. Pretty well anywhere you drive, any city that you drive in, it'll be 50 kilometers an hour, unless otherwise posted. Yes. Okay, so anytime you go to a different city, you know, the basic speed limit is going to be 50 kilometers an hour. So that's something to remember. And um, we are on going straight or? I well, no, we are turning right, right because yeah. we are not turning lane, but we are turning right anyways. Yes. Uh, that's okay. the intention is to go right here. And I still have to signal right. You, of course. Remember that when you signal, even though you're in a turning lane, for drivers, it's clear that it's a turning lane. But what about pedestrians? You know, they also need to know where you're going. They may yes. not understand the rules of the road. Yeah, that's a very good okay. point. So they need to see also, you know, in the direction you're moving. Yes. You need to communicate with them also. And I'm maintaining distance from the other cars. Okay. Yeah, minimum following distance is two seconds. Now, following distance is measured in seconds, not in physical distance. Like you hear people say, well, two or three car uh, length, uh, you know, and I go, okay, it, you can't measure in car length because first of all, there's too many different sizes of cars. Yes. So we're we talking about a, a pickup truck or we're we talking about a smart car. Which car are we talking about? So you don't measure in, in, in car lengths. You measure in seconds in time. Okay. So two seconds, the minimum follow distance. Okay. We'll be making a right turn at this intersection coming up. Okay. So now is a good time to signal right? Yes. Good. And I go in the right lane by doing shoulder check. Yeah, that is correct. My light is green, so that means I'm good to go and there's no pedestrian. Correct. Yeah. And I go in the closest lane. There is mm -hmm. a speed limit sign, 50 kilometers maximum. Railway tracks, same thing here. Do I yeah. need to check? No, also? yeah, you check, always check. Oh, you don't okay. have to slow down okay. unless they're really in bad shape or rough. We're gonna turn left here, so we need to do two lane changes. Can I change multiple yes. lanes? Yeah, one exactly, okay. that is correct, yeah. Well, you, you, the idea is if you're changing multiple lanes, your signal light has to be on and you should be shoulder checking every time you go over one lane of traffic. So roads like this, I imagine a yellow line in the middle and then I keep my car closer to the yellow line? Yes, because that is there correct. Was no okay. markings on the road. Now, it's important to understand that, the, remember what I mentioned earlier about about uh, so, what defines a lane of traffic. Okay. Okay. What defines a lane of traffic is the space that you drive in. For example, here we are parked in the right hand lane or the curb lane. Now, you're going to hear people call this the parking lane, but in reality, it's not called the parking lane. It's never been called the parking lane. You're never going to find in any, well, I mean, at least the manuals that I know that they're going to call the right hand lane the parking lane. Now, you are allowed to park on the right-hand lane sometimes, not all the time, but it's not called the parking lane. It's yes. called the right-hand lane or the curb lane, okay? okay? Now, here, 
as you can see, there's no lines painted on the road, but that doesn't mean there is no lanes of traffic. That red car just went by in the left lane. We are parked in the right lane. Yes. Okay. So what I mentioned earlier, when you when you move from one space of, of the road to another space, so in this case, right lane to left lane, we're moving physically to another space on the road. That means another space where somebody else can also be. Yes. So that's the reason why we do a mirror check. We indicate and we show the check because somebody else can be there. We don't signal, show the check and indicate because there's a line in between. The line has nothing to do with that. It has to do with us moving physically from one space of the road to another space, you know, and maybe there's another vehicle in that other space, right? That's the reason yep. why we do this, not because there's a line. So the line has nothing to do with the proper lane change. Okay, very good.